All right, our next two theorems are going to be our mean value theorem, uh, 5.28, and also our average value theorem. So take a few minutes and write those down. Well, also we were looking at this image, and you can see this might help you to visually see the um, aspects of this theorem. And also I'll do the same for the average value. Okay, and then here's one for the average value. Looks like you can see here's our average value formula here. But there's a ton of examples. If you just look at some of the images on um, the Internet, that's all I did was Google this. So you can have a visual for that. And looks like mean value theorem down there as well. But let's see an example of what you're going to be asked to do with it in your homework. Okay, so you're going to be asked to find a number z that satisfies the conclusions of the mean value theorem and also the average value. All right, and our given is 0, 3x squared dx evaluated from 0 to 3. Now, in the next lesson, we'll have to determine this, actually solve this. We'll be given the fundamental theorem of calculus to evaluate and get 27 ourselves. But for this lesson, because you haven't learned that yet, this is given to you. So we're just asked to apply that um, to our mean value theorem. So our f of z is equal to b minus a, f of z times b minus a, excuse me, b minus a. That is equal to the solution of our definite integral. So in this case, that is equal to 27. Okay, so it's our definite integral is equal to this. So we know 27 is our definite integral. Now we're just going to be solving for z. So f of z, what's going to be our b? 3, good. What's our a? Our lower limit is 0. So f of z, now we can go ahead and evaluate. What is our function evaluated at z? So basically, if I plug the z in everywhere there's an x, we'll go ahead and plug that in now. So that would be 3z squared. And when I simplify this, I would just have 3 is equal to 27. So 9z squared equals 27. We're just solving this for z now. Divide both sides by 9. z squared is equal to 3. And then we take the square root of both sides. And we will find out that z is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. But we're only looking at the interval from 0 to 3. So um, from 0 to 3. So the only one that gets to apply is going to be our... Um, square root of 3, the positive value. So z is equal to the square root of 3. This is the value that satisfies the mean value theorem. Okay, so one more time to recap that. We take our definite integral, which is given to us, in this case it equal 27, and set it equal to our f of z times b minus a. Plugged in our b, plugged in our a, evaluated that. Um, to get 3, evaluated f at z, meaning go to your original function. Everywhere there's an x, plug in a z. Do the algebra. Only count the answer that applies for this particular interval, and that's our solution. So part b says find the average value of f on a to b. And just to remind you, I'm going to take this formula, write it down, and work the next part of that given problem. So for part B, our average value is going to be 1 over B minus A of f of x dx. Our B in this one was 3. Our A was 0. And this entire piece was given to me, right? This information was given. And what was our um, value for that? Just 27. Which I'm getting that from right here. Okay, this is a piece of given information. 
so that's just going to be 27 divided by 3, so our average value is going to be 9. Okay, we're going to do one more example. I'm going to let you try this one on your own. It's the exact same instructions as this particular one. It's the part A and part B. And this is the new given information. So apply part A and part B to this one and then check your answer. Okay, a lot of work to check. This part is just plugging in our f of z. Everywhere there's an x, we plug in a z. And then our b minus a is just going to be b minus a here. Simplify this, and then I distribute this 4 to every term in the problem. And then once I did that step, then I simplified everything. I subtracted 32 to both sides to get a 0 here. Okay, and then next step, I factored out a 4, and this is my scratch work on the side for factoring, in case you wanted to see that's using the bottom up method, you can factor however you want to. And then when you set each of these terms equal to 0, you get z is equal to 5 thirds, and z is equal to negative 1. Now, the only reason this negative 1 is not included is because this is the open set from negative 1 to 3, and it's not a bracket there, so it's not included in the set. It's not in our interval. All right, let's do the um, average value on the next page, so go ahead and work on that. And then this one's just the easy one. They gave us this value so we didn't have to do all that extra work that we're going to have to do in the next lesson. But it's just a simple algebra problem here. And so our average value is going to be 8.